Around Kyiv and other areas, Moscow's troops are at a near stalemate as Ukrainian defenders continue to fight back. President Biden addressed concerns that a frustrated Russian President Vladimir Putin will resort to chemical, biological, or nuclear weapons. Today, Ukraine accused Moscow of taking hundreds of thousands of civilians to Russia against their will. Russia denies this, but some fear they may be used as hostages to pressure Kyiv to give up. Under relentless Russian attacks, Ukrainians are pushing back on several fronts. Take a look at this footage. Ukraine's Navy said a Russian landing craft was destroyed in Berdyansk. Video showed the ship gutted and in flames. The Russian military had been using it to supply its forces. Ukraine's Azov Battalion says this video shows a strike on Russian military assets in Mariupol. President Biden arrived in Brussels, Belgium. World leaders opened a trio of emergency summits. At a news conference, the president said the U.S. and NATO would respond if Russia uses chemical weapons in Ukraine. The nature of the response would depend on the nature of the use. The president announced the U.S. would welcome 100,000 Ukrainian refugees and provide an additional $1 billion in food, medicine, water and supplies. Biden also said a new round of sanctions would target state-owned defense companies and oligarchs and said Russia should be removed from the G20. As far as concern over China's involvement, Biden reiterated that China's president knows the consequences of aiding Russia. China understands that uh, its economic future is much more closely tied to the West uh, than it is to Russia. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky is urging NATO for more support, including military equipment. The war of Russia is not only the war against Ukraine. Its meaning is much wider. In Mariupol, evacuees say the city doesn't exist anymore. Zelensky said 100,000 people remain trapped in inhumane conditions. I don't think we're committing war crimes in Ukraine. In an interview, a senior Russian diplomat denied that Russian forces target civilians and talked about the possibility that his country would use nuclear weapons if provoked by NATO. If Russia is attacked by NATO, I don't know. So we are, we are nuclear power. Why not? The Kremlin continues to accuse the U.S. of financing biological laboratories in Ukraine. The White House warned that Moscow's latest conspiracy theory could preclude a chemical or biological attack that Russia would blame on the U.S. or Ukraine. A new poll shows 53 percent of Americans think the president hasn't been tough enough in his response to Russia. Among Democrats, 43 percent say he hasn't been tough enough. About 53 percent say it's been about right. Live in News Center, Kimberly Chang, KTLA 5 News.